Beloved in Christ, as we journey together in faith, we are called to remember not only the love and mercy of Jesus, but also his righteous anger against sin and injustice. Our Lord, who is infinitely compassionate and slow to anger, at times expresses his holy displeasure when we stray from his ways or treat lightly what is sacred. We see evidence of this throughout Scripture, where Jesus confronts hypocrisy, challenges those who exploit others, and speaks against hearts hardened by sin. His anger is not like human anger. It is pure, righteous, and rooted in his desire to bring us back to a life of holiness and love. In the Gospels, we see a powerful example in Matthew 21, 12 to 13, where Jesus enters the temple and finding it filled with merchants and money changers exploiting people, drives them out, saying, My house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. This is not just an action against physical wrongdoing. It's a profound message against corrupting what is sacred, against living as though God's ways don't matter. Jesus' anger here is a call to repentance and to restore what has been defiled. It reminds us that he deeply values purity, justice, and the holiness of our worship. When we walk away from God's truth, when we allow sin to take root in our lives, and when we become complacent in our faith, it grieves the heart of Jesus. In Revelation 3, 15-16, Jesus speaks sternly to the church in Laodicea, saying, I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So, because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. These words serve as a warning to all believers. To be lukewarm, indifferent, or half-hearted in our faith does not honor the one who gave everything for us. Jesus desires our whole hearts, our full devotion, and our true commitment to following him. Today, Jesus may look upon the world and see a similar need for correction. We live in times where love for God and reverence for His ways are often treated lightly. Many are quick to follow the trends and teachings of the world while neglecting the Word of God. Just as He did with the money changers in the temple, Jesus' righteous anger calls us to restore what is holy, to remove from our lives anything that separates us from Him. He invites us to look within, to cast away the idols that have taken His place, and to rededicate our hearts to Him. This anger is not meant to frighten us, but to awaken us. Jesus' anger is a sign of his love, his desire for our true freedom, and his call to a higher way of living. It's a reminder that we are his beloved, meant for lives of purpose, holiness, and joy, not lives weighed down by sin, compromise, or spiritual indifference. The grace he offers is immense, but he will not allow us to settle for anything less than a genuine relationship with him. Let us pray. Holy and righteous Lord Jesus, we come before you with humble hearts, acknowledging the ways we may have strayed from your path. We are sorry for any actions, words, or thoughts that have brought dishonor to your name. We ask for your forgiveness and for the strength to turn from all that displeases you. Remove from us any pride, complacency, or idols we have allowed into our lives, and restore within us a passion for your truth. Help us, Lord, to honor you with our whole hearts. May we love what you love, seek what you seek, and live as true followers of your way. Purify us, strengthen us, and remind us of the holiness to which you call us. We pray for your patience, Lord, as we strive to align ourselves with your will. Guide us back to you whenever we wander, and keep us under the protection of your love. We also pray for our communities, for our world, and for all who are struggling to know you fully. May your spirit move mightily, convicting hearts and drawing many to repentance and renewal. Pour out your love, Lord, but also pour out a holy conviction that reminds us of the seriousness of our faith. In the precious name of Jesus we pray, Amen. Type Amen in the comments.